Green lights, and we are away in the final of the women's pairs. Look at the conditions. It's a mill pond up there on the start. Romania 2 in lane number 1, Netherlands 2 in lane 2, USA 1 in lane 3. Great Britain's Helen Glover and Heather Stanning are in lane number 4, just having a quick start there. The better of the starts, USA 2 in lane 5, and Netherlands 1 closest to us in lane number six. Now in the first 100 meters, all these crews really just sprinting out, get as much boat speed. And if you get as much boat speed in the first 100, it really helps to just kick down into the rhythm. Great Britain going, likewise, Netherlands one in lane six. Great Britain looking very nice there in lane number four. They've taken the lead, moving very sweetly. They've got a very good style. I mean, comparing them from uh, a year ago, when they were really quite raw, uh, this is very, very good rowing, and they've just moved right on ahead. The crews on either side of them from the United States are the, uh, are, are the pair that came third, split between two, uh, two boats, going off, off course there a little bit. They've got to watch their steering. British crew now just establishing all important six, seven feet lead. If they can get out to half a length, when they come up to the 500 meter mark, that will really give them the confidence just to stretch it out on the length and then really come down into a solid rhythm that will see them through the second 500 meters as the banks of coaches on the far side cycling down shows you the interest across all the countries here. Okay, that's very good rowing from the British pair. They've looked very calm. They've settled into a very good rhythm there as they come up to the 500. Quarter of the race down, we're through a half a length up. Great Britain over Netherlands two and Netherlands one. Both of the Netherlands crews are doubling up into the eight. Later on in this regas, and now into the middle thousand meters here. And Helen Glover sits on the right. Heather standing on the left. Glover from Manira Bath Boat Club, 23 years of age, and standing from Yeovil, from Yeovil and from Army Rowing Club, 25 years. Really good chemistry here, but they're being put under pressure now from Netherlands 2 up in lane number 1. They're at 34 strokes a minute. They're not looking too flustered by this pressure that's coming from the Netherlands in lane 2. But these two crews well out in front. Surprising to see Romania so far back. Romania was seventh last year. Uh, they've been put under pressure by at, at home by a, a young pair that had come up from the under-23s. But they, are, they saw them off, got the final here and there's some very poor steering going on. So this steering from Netherlands in lane uh, number two here will really have a big impact if they're going to try and overhaul and get back on terms with the British crew in lane number four. Netherlands, though, up in lane two, just squeezing around there. Still, though, the Netherlands are right on the tail of Great Britain. The blue on the top left, light blue, shows it. the British crew is currently moving the fastest all six boats. The Netherlands, top of the picture there in lane number two, they are trying to make a push here. They've gone up to 35 strokes a minute. They're trying to make a push to get on terms with the British pair. But the British pair looking very steady still, and they're not going to make their move until they get to halfway. But a quick look across there from uh, uh, from uh, Helen Glover, just to check where what's happening there on the, on the uh, lane number two. One of the big success stories of the British rowing team comes in the women's pair, comes with this crew of Helen Glover and Heather standing in lane at number four. We're through the halfway mark. They've led right from the first stroke and they have looked extremely impressive. Not really being put under too much pressure now in the third 500 by Netherlands. They're really sort of just containing the attack that comes over in lane number two. The lane order, Romania two in one. Netherlands two in lane two, USA one in lane number three. Look at the US crew really off the back there. Great Britain in four, USA two in five, Netherlands one in lane number six. Gary, when we were just looking there back at them, um, they didn't put the rating up there at all, but they just put a bit more pressure on in the water and they moved about a third of a length on the Dutch pair. The Dutch pair were up at 36 strokes a minute and still they dropped back. That was very, very impressive, thoughtful rowing there from the British pair. Helen Glover from Manira Bath Boat Club, Heather Stanning from Army Rowing Club. They've got a new coach this year, Robin Williams, formerly of Cambridge University, had a great success with the, uh, the Cambridge University Boat Club and likewise with the men's lightweight crews up to 2008. Very, very good coach, fantastic on technique 
and we really are seeing that now from the British crew, Helen Glover, Heather Standing, as they just ease away. They're making it look very, very easy, and this is down to a combination of a fearsome winter trainings program, but more importantly, the technique, which is just outstanding. Through 500 to go, 1,500 metres gone now, and the British crew have really dominated from the first stroke in this final of the women's coxless pair. Helen Glover, Heather Stanning, new coach Rob Williams really is seeing the fruits now of hard and long winter's training, combining real strong stuff in the gym here. And you're seeing now across a very, very classy field that Great Britain have just opened it up. That, that hot, there was that Dutch crew in lane number two who were putting them under so much pressure about 700 meters ago, but they're now being caught by the United States uh, top crew there with um, uh, with uh, Francia and uh, Ms. Nuri in the, in the boat there, pushing through very well into second place, but nothing's going to stop this British pair. What a 12 months Great Britain have had in the women's coxless pair. When they came here last year in the 2010 World Cup Series, they could only finish fifth they went on, though, to get stronger and stronger through that season, finishing with a silver medal at Carapira at the World Championships last year. And they really are now big contenders for the World Championship gold later on this year in Bled. We've still got the World Champions New Zealand to come into the fray, but right now, Great Britain are just enjoying. They're to the right of the picture. This is USA in lane number three. They're now Great Britain enjoying the paddle up to the line. Well deserved. We've not really seen the whole the whole spread of crews here in, uh, throughout the race. We've really been concentrating on the top half of the uh, of the, uh, the regatta there on, the, on lanes one, two, and three. But here you've got Great Britain now really striding away. The United States chasing them down, but they've got a good length and a half clearly. Paddling up to the line, opening the 2011 series with a gold medal, considerably better than last year at the World Cup. Great Britain get gold, USA one in lane at number three get the silver, and Netherlands two will get the bronze. Good performance from Great Britain. That was so calm. They really didn't really have to push hard, except in the water they did it at halfway and opened up a lead immediately. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, doing anything crazy, it wasn't pushing up the rate of striking, the, the number of strokes they were taking. They just hardened it on in the water and they moved very quickly. That was very, very mature rowing.